go back working on this truck. Right now I'm currently trying to get the wiring harness sticking apart everywhere. Get it all disconnected. And then I have this new wiring harness that I bought with a new motor. So um, I decided to do a swap. I'm not going to stick with the original motor just because I want to have a nice truck with fuel injection. You know, it's a decent truck. I'd like to have something that a little more reliable. Everyone says just go buy a new truck, but there's just something unique about an old truck with new parts. So we'll go look at the engine. So this is the engine that I bought. This is the six liter LQ4. Uh, it's gonna be pretty sweet, I think. It came pretty bare. I have to get the coil packs, spark plug wires. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some modifications to the front because I want to use the the truck's stock power steering pump, alternator, and AC compressor. So I've already pulled the original AC compressor off here. And I've also gotten rid of the EGR here. As you can see, I've pulled that off. I'm going to get some delete plates. And then I bought these motor mount brackets that move the motor mounts forward about three inches in order for it to fit in my truck. Um, I just got these off Amazon. The brand is ICT. Uh, from the reviews that I've seen, people say there's a little bit of modifications. I've already tried to fit the motor mounts up. And this side, I'm going to have to trim this down a little to make it work, but we'll go from there. So one thing I wanted to show to you guys was this flex plate. So this is the um, stock flex plate for this LQ4. I wanted to put my um, SBC flex plate on, but it was a different bolt pattern, so it wouldn't bolt up. So the torque converter that I have for my transmission uh, will bolt up, but I'm going to have to ream these three holes a little bit. I watched another guy do it on YouTube and it seemed to work okay. Obviously I'll watch it close. If it ruins something then I guess we'll be pulling it apart. But that's how you learn I guess. So we'll go ahead and do that. Get those drilled. Get it in. Get it mounted up. Uh, I've got to get a Y pipe for this and a starter motor. But other than that, it's about ready to go in the truck. So what I've done here is I pulled all the sheathing off of these wires just to get them all exposed. And then we're going to see which ones we're going to keep and eliminate. I'm just basically getting everything pulled apart and exposed so that we can work with it. But that's my plan for right now is to get this new wiring harness in. We'll get that one in and 
hopefully we get it all wired up right. Got to see where everything goes and get it labeled. We'll go from there.